The fully guided strategy produces complete designs starting from requirements. Alexa, open Model Creator. Welcome to IFML Model Creator. What do you want to do? I'd like to design a new website. Do you want to use a design wizard? Yes. Do you want to use a pattern-based approach or a requirement-based approach? I want to start from requirements. What kind of web application do you want to build? An e-commerce site, a blog and news sharing site, or a social networking site? An e-commerce site. Do you have a flat list of products to sell, or do you want them to be organized in categories? Organize products in categories. Thank you for your input. I'm now generating the IFML model for your website. You can open and use it in the IFML edit tool. The pattern-based strategy specifies solutions by selecting design patterns and combining them together. Alexa, open Model Creator. Welcome to IFML Model Creator. What do you want to do? I'd like to design a new website. Do you want to use a design wizard? Yes. Do you want to use a pattern-based approach or a requirement-based approach? Let's use patterns. What patterns do you want to add? Add sign up and login pattern. Done. The element-based strategy specifies process modeling commands with fine-grained granularity. Alexa, open Model Creator. Welcome to IFML Model Creator. What do you want to do? I'd like to design a new website. Do you want to use a design wizard? No, I want to design a custom site. OK, please tell me what do you need in your site. Add the authentication view container. Done. Insert the login view container in the authentication view container. Done. Insert the sign up view container in the authentication view container. Done. Insert the login form in the login view container. Done. Insert the sign up event in the login form. Done. Connect the sign up event to the sign up form. Done. Select sign up form. Done. Add fields first name, last name, and username. Done. Add field password of type password. Done. Select navigation flow from failed login event to login form. Done. Add binding between input username and output username, and between input password and output password.